Hi, today I'm going to tell you how to propagate a big cutting from Bungenvillia. A small cutting like this, it, it takes about two or three weeks to grow. But a big cutting like this, it takes a couple of months to grow or maybe more. The advantage of the big cutting is you can turn it to the bonsai within a year or two, while a small cutting, it takes many years to get a big trunk and then you can turn in the bonsai after that. Which way you choose to propagate depends on what you need, a bonsai or a tree. One of my friends needs to clean up his backyard and he asked me if I want to take his bungalow. So I came over and got about 11 meat cutting range. After bringing them home, I dipped all of them in the fresh water overnight to make it ready for the next day. I have a bottle of rooting powder and a tray filled with all purple scent, just scent only. I pour the rooting powder onto the small dish for easy use. I take the cutting arm of the water and dip it into the root powder. Make sure the powder cover all the bottom surface of the cutting. Then I blend it in the tray with sand. The sand is about 4 or 5 inches thickness. The reason I dip all the branches in the water because I one day absorb the water first before I blend it. I threw about 20 holes on the bottom of the plastic container so the water ran out quickly. After putting all of them into the sand, I watered it throughout the container and made sure the sand is wet completely. I have one intake of garden soil layer over the same, then water it again. I wait for 10 minutes before cover the whole container by a clear plastic sheet. I use the paint to cover the top of the cut so they will not dry up during the process. After blending all of them, I use the wire to tie them all together so they will not fall in. I cover all of them with the clear plastic sheet. 
the reason I cover it because uh, I want to keep the moisture inside and they will not dry up and die. It's been six weeks since I planted. So today I'm going to open to see what happened. For the small branch, it takes about two or three weeks so the new leaf will come out. But for the big branch like this, it takes much longer. Let's open it. Okay, they all had a new young branches come out with the tiny leaves. Some of them is about 5 inches long. There are 11 branches total, but I found one of them, the smallest one is right up. I don't know why. Usually, the smaller one had a better chance to survive. So far, I have 10 out of 11 alive. Because they are so young, so I need to cover them again to wait for a few more weeks. Today, after 4 more weeks, I'm going to open it. It's almost total 3 months since I planned it. You see? There are many cuts on the plastic because they have a reason. The moisture inside and outside are different. So I cut one or two small holes first and wait for a few days. When they get familiar with the temperature and the moisture outside, then I cut a few more holes larger and wait for two more days. Finally, I can completely remove the whole plastic cover. If you don't do this way and suddenly remove the cover, they will be withered after one or two days. After the first time when I opened four weeks ago, I made the frame to keep the plastic cover higher so they have more room for the new plants. Let me bring the camera close up so you can see clearly. Oh, this one had a flower. And this one too. Here is a couple of small branch I plant the same time with the larger one. The small one takes about two or three weeks to grow. There's a lot of beautiful flower, as you can see. And this one is about three months since I planted it. I will leave everything like this for a few more weeks in the safe area before I blend them in the pot. 